Dear friends, I'm Dr. Amit Sood. I want to talk to you about a, a very important topic, immune resilience, and how you can build your immune resilience. So we are surrounded by trillions of you know, viruses and bacteria that sometimes do not mean us well. Right? So we get exposed to them, and uh, from exposure we can get infection. Uh, and in, from the infection we may recover or sometimes we may land up in complications. So what you do is you do all the rational preventive strategies um, like, like hand washing and social distancing and not touching contaminated surfaces to prevent acquiring the infection, to prevent the exposure from happening. Now, once the, uh, once the exposure happens, it's your immune system that fights the virus or the bacteria. Let's call them together pathogen, that, that fights the pathogens. Uh, and you've got billions of you know, healthy immune cells that fight and, and ward them off uh, in most situations. And, 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 but once the infection has happened, it's, it's the combination of immune system and antivirals or antibiotics and of course, we, we in some instances, or in many instances, have a vaccine to prevent uh, that from happening. Uh, in the current threat though, at this point, we, we do not have vaccines or antivirals. So you have two options. One is to prevent the infection through uh, you know, hand washing and uh, social distancing and not touching contaminated surfaces and I've provided these two links uh, from the CDC and WHO website for you to uh, refer for the updated information. The second is building your immunity, building your immune resilience. So what do we mean by immune resilience? So, so in this cartoon shows there's three, you know, blobs of cells that are beginning to be invaded by the pathogen. If your immune system is weak, then uh, your immune cells are not able to kill the pathogen and the pathogens multiply and take over uh, your body cells. Now in some instances, the immune system is very strong so that you know, it eliminates uh, many of the viruses, but it also kills a lot of your, your innate you know, healthy cells along with causing a lot of inflammation. A resilient immune system is one where the immune system kills the virus or the bacteria and doesn't cause as much damage. So it, it kills what it has to kill, but it protects your, your physical body, your, your innate cells. So this combination uh, of it being strong and protective at the same time and strong and gentle it at the same time is what makes your immune system resilient. So what does your, your immune system need for resilience? So these are some immune cells. So they need the right kind of nutrition. So they need uh, all the vitamins, uh, vitamin A, B complex, C, D, E. They need uh, all the minerals like copper, iron, selenium, zinc, and others. And they need some healthy neurotransmitters, healthy hormones, uh, you know, such as oxytocin, endorphins, dopamine, things that make you feel good, feel happy. And you want to avoid, uh, you know, toxic hormones, excessive amount of uh, norepinephrine, noradrenaline, or adrenaline, excessive amount of steroids and other uh, toxic hormones and neurotransmitters. And you also want to avoid uh, toxins from the environment, such as, you know, heavy metals, pesticides, and others. So how do you feed your immune system and cultivate this uh, healthy immunity, that immune resilience? Here are eight questions to ask. Uh, and I've asked these eight questions of myself and have made some very important changes that I, have, I feel have helped. The first one to ask is, am I micronutrient replete? The most important cause of immune deficiency globally is deficiency in, in nutrition, particularly micronutrients and protein. Uh, one out of three people globally have micronutrient deficiency. So if you're not sure about, uh, you know, whether, you're not, whether or not you're getting good micronutrients, uh, you can perhaps take a, a, a multivitamin with mineral a couple of times a week. Just don't go for, you know, very high mega doses, something that gives you like 100% of, you know, daily, daily intake. And that's what I have implemented myself. The second question to ask is, do I carry a large sleep deficit? 
and I do carry a significant sleep deficit. I've tried to fix it for the sake of my immune system. I know sometimes it is difficult, but you can optimize it uh, and just be aware that sleeping time is also a productive time. Uh, try not to shortchange that to the best you can. Third is, does my body get the movement it needs? So there's two parts to movement. One is the, the focused exercise, 20 to 30 minutes a day, and then being agile all day long. If when you're sedentary, it predisposes to inflammation and immune suppression. But if you really start running Olympics twice a week, that is also going to cause inflammation. So, so exercise in moderation, that is very healthy for your immunity and immune resilience. Fourth question to ask is, can I let go of some stressors? Am I being too hard on myself? Do I have a very long to-do list? I mean, why not let me create some not to-do list? Um, why am I letting people who shouldn't be in the story of my life write the title of my story? So having self-compassion, kindness to self, optimizing workload, uh, learning to say no when it is appropriate, all that will avoid optional stressors. The next, the fifth question to ask is, can I heal some of my relationships, both in personal and professional life? So if you've been planning forgiveness for some time, now is the time to implement it. For the sake of your immunity, you can let them know I'm forgiving you because I want to help my immune system. I'm, I'm just joking. But the idea is the, the less emotional load you carry and the more nurtured you feel, the more connected you feel, the less lonely you feel, the better your immunity. Sixth idea is, how can I be a little happier? Uh, maybe I love music, maybe I love massage, I want to nurture hope. What else can I do to pamper myself a little bit? Maybe I love to dance. Laughter, you know, a good belly laugh can protect your immune system for almost 12 hours. So, so choose to laugh. And of course, laugh with, not laugh at. Choose to have good belly laugh at least once or twice uh, every single day. Seventh question to ask is, can I clear my body of toxic chemicals? Um, is, is, have, have, have I been contemplating quitting smoking for a long time? Now is the time to do it. Am I drinking excessively? Am I on some drugs? Uh, am I, um, uh, is the quality of my air optimal? Am I getting healthy, clean water in my home? Am I taking the right kind of food without any pesticides, etc.? So we don't want to get obsessive about every little detail, but to the extent you can decrease the load of toxic chemicals uh, that get into your body by being cognizant of all that you are, you know, inhaling, drinking, eating, uh, and of course, uh, you know, quit smoking and cut down on alcohol intake if you're drinking excessively. And finally, am I eating plenty of good compounds? Uh, am I eating enough fruits and vegetables? Am I uh, enjoying all the different colors in my diet, uh, you know, from the, from the natural f uh, you know, fruits and vegetables? Um, uh, maybe I can add a little turmeric, uh, some spices, some, um, some coriander, uh, some cilantro. I mean, uh, you know, lot, those herbs that uh, are also wonderful of, for our immune system. So the more you can uh, make your diet healthy and add variety to it, uh, the better it, it will be for your, for your immunity. So these are the eight questions to ask and I've asked all these eight questions to myself and have made changes in, in all the eight different areas. I've increased my micronutrient intake, I'm trying to optimize my or minimize my sleep deficit, I'm cognizant of how uh, long am I sitting and try not to sit for more than an hour in a row and so be agile and active during the day. Uh, I am letting go of some stressors, learning to say no, um, uh, I have chosen to forgive, at least in my mind, a few people. Um, I am, have added music to my life. Um, haven't added massage yet, but uh, I'm considering uh, I'm cognizant of uh, washing, let's say, my apples more uh, and, and, and just making sure I don't get pesticides uh, through my food and, of course, avoid any other toxic chemical. And I've added a little extra turmeric uh, in my food. Uh, I'm not taking any supplement. but So I found that I could do uh, little by little changes that uh, I feel will help my 
my immunity and help me fight uh, any potential infection, uh, you know, much, much better. Uh, you know, studies have shown that even a small change in micronutrient intake can really make a significant difference in your immunity. So those are your two options, you know, rational prevention along with uh, making effort to boost your, to build your immune resilience. You are precious, your time is precious. Uh, I think uh, we should not let uh, this, uh, this potential, this, this epidemic become a fear epidemic because you know, if we have fear uh, that suppresses our immunity which predisposes us to actually worse infection. What, when we look back at this moment of life two, four, five years from now, it'll be best to remember this, uh, this as a time when we rose in our resilience, took care of ourselves, and chose to convert this moment of disruption into transformation. Thank you for your attention.